This video is not about a banjo. I wasn't looking for a new instrument when this Ohm Omega landed in my lap. I'd been playing the same fretted banjo and Ohm Columbine for 16 years when I happened on this Omega in a music shop six months ago. The Omega did everything my previous banjo did, but it did it better in pretty much every respect. It had richer tone, more volume, better playability, and the aesthetics really suited me. Here are the specs real quick. Walnut throughout. Vintage Ohm Tone Ring. Glenn Carson did the inlays which were inspired by early Kentucky rifle engravings. Radius fretboard with jumbo frets, raw brass hardware, a Susabe compensated bridge with a Renaissance head, nice and snug. The instrument I play is so much more than a tool for making sound. The right banjo for me inspires me. It leads me down paths that I might not have explored. For example, this tune you're listening to now, Lost Gander, is partly finger-picked in an old-time thumb lead style. I'm a claw hammer player, but the harmonics on this banjo are so captivating that the instrument itself coaxed me to try something new, something I might not have otherwise tried. Now you don't need to spend a ton on an instrument to find one that allows you to express yourself. I think last week's video about the worst banjo I've ever played helps to prove that but it does take time to find that banjo that inspires you, that dares you to think a little bit bigger and a little bit farther than you had before. Don't walk away thinking you need to spend a lot on a banjo. You absolutely do not. Inspiration can come in many forms, from cheap to expensive, old or new, ornate or simple. This video is not about a banjo. It's about the flame of inspiration. This flame can be anywhere, a sound, a song, a player, a teacher, a place, or an instrument. Making music is all about capturing this flame and sharing the light with others. Where is this light for you? It's probably the most important question you can ask yourself as a musician. <laughs>